Ever notice those tiny specks drifting across your vision or experience that scratchy, dry feeling in your eyes? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of eye health to uncover what really causes those pesky eye floaters and the uncomfortable sensation of dry eyes. We'll explore the science behind these common eye issues, debunk some myths, and share practical tips to keep your eyes feeling fresh and float free. Dry eye can be caused by a deficiency in vitamin A. This deficiency can make the eyes sticky, potentially leading to corneal damage and persistent irritation. Additionally, a lack of vitamin A can also result in night blindness. The main sources of vitamin A include egg yolks, liver, butter, and cod liver oil. While some may suggest getting vitamin A from plants, they actually contain beta carotene, which the body converts into vitamin A in limited amounts. To ensure proper utilization of vitamin A, adequate zinc intake is also necessary. Zinc is found in red meat, oysters, shellfish, and liver, but is scarce in refined foods and sugars. Therefore, maintaining a balanced diet rich in these nutrients is crucial for eye health and overall well-being. The next condition we need to discuss is called retinopathy often associated with diabetes, affects the retina, which is essentially an extension of brain tissue in the eye responsible for capturing visual information and transmitting it to the brain. Diabetes is the primary cause of retinopathy because elevated glucose levels lead to oxidative damage, akin to rusting, which affects the nervous system through extensive free radical damage. To counteract this, a substance called benfotiamine, a fat-soluble form of vitamin B1, can be beneficial. Benfotiamine has the ability to penetrate nerve tissue effectively, offering antioxidant properties that combat oxidative stress. Higher doses of benfotiamine can potentially alleviate complications of diabetes, such as peripheral neuropathy and diabetic retinopathy. By supporting the nervous system and enhancing blood flow to nerves, particularly in the retina, benfotiamine helps maintain eye health amidst diabetic challenges. This targeted nutritional support can be a vital component in the management and prevention of diabetic retinopathy, contributing to better overall ocular and nervous system health for individuals with diabetes. Let's discuss floaters. When you consume protein along with sugar, a process called glycation can occur. This chemical reaction causes proteins to stick together like glue, leading to the formation of floaters in the eye. These floaters are essentially clumps that become lodged in the eye's vitreous humor, which is the clear gel that fills the space between the lens and the retina. To address floaters, dietary changes can be effective. Switching to a low-carb diet can help mitigate floaters, and some individuals find relief by adopting a carnivore diet for a period of one to two months. This diet reduces sugar intake, thereby decreasing glycation and the formation of these clumps. Another approach involves promoting autophagy, a natural process where the body recycles damaged proteins and cellular components. Fasting is a way to induce autophagy, as it triggers the body to clean up and recycle these proteins. If you experience floaters, incorporating intermittent fasting and occasionally longer fasting periods can significantly aid in reducing or eliminating them. This approach helps the body undergo autophagy, potentially clearing up the floaters by improving overall protein recycling and cellular health. Let's explore macular degeneration, sometimes referred to as age-related macular degeneration. It's often attributed to aging, but I'm skeptical that everyone inevitably develops it with age. The macula is the central part of the retina, crucial for clear vision. Several factors can impact its health, including exposure to blue light from devices like smartphones and laptops, as well as lifestyle choices such as alcohol consumption, smoking, and high sugar intake. However, a significant contributor, according to an ophthalmologist specializing in eye diseases, is seed oils. These oils, high in omega-6 fatty acids, can accumulate in the macular membrane over time, potentially causing inflammation and degeneration. It's crucial to reduce consumption of these inflammatory seed oils and instead increase intake of omega-3 fatty acids. Protective against macular degeneration are three natural compounds. Lutein, zeaxanthin, and mesozeaxanthin, all carotenoids. These can be found in green and yellow vegetables, fruits, egg yolks, seafood like salmon and shrimp, and meat from grass-fed animals. Additionally, macular degeneration is the second leading cause of blindness in adults. 
By increasing intake of nutrients like lutein, zeaxanthin, and mesozeaxanthin through diet, there is a potential to improve vision in some cases. These compounds play a crucial role in supporting eye health and combating the factors that contribute to macular degeneration, thereby offering a natural approach to maintaining and even enhancing visual acuity. Now let's talk about glaucoma. Glaucoma is a group of eye conditions that damage the optic nerve, typically due to increased pressure within the eye. The optic nerve is crucial for transmitting visual information from the eye to the brain, and when it is damaged, it can lead to vision loss and blindness if untreated. There are several types of glaucoma, but the most common is called primary open angle glaucoma. In this type, the drainage angle where the iris meets the cornea is open but becomes less efficient over time, causing pressure buildup. Another type is angle closure glaucoma, where the drainage angle is closed or blocked, leading to a sudden increase in eye pressure. Risk factors for glaucoma include age, especially over 60, family history, certain medical conditions like diabetes, and prolonged use of corticosteroid medications. The early stages of glaucoma often have no symptoms, so regular eye exams are crucial for early detection and treatment. Treatment may involve eye drops, oral medications, laser therapy, or surgery, depending on the type and severity of glaucoma. Early intervention can help manage the condition, preserving vision and preventing further optic nerve damage. Now let's talk a little bit about cataracts. Cataracts occur when the lens of the eye becomes cloudy due to the accumulation of sticky, non-functional proteins, often resulting from high sugar consumption. This cloudiness can obstruct vision, leading to symptoms such as blurred vision, difficulty seeing at night, and faded colors. To counteract cataracts, higher amounts of vitamin D can be beneficial, as it plays a role in maintaining eye health. Additionally, N-acetylcarnosine eye drops and zinc, both rich in antioxidants, can offer protection for the eyes by reducing oxidative stress and preventing further protein damage. Antioxidants are also abundant in dark-colored fruits and vegetables, such as those that are dark purple, red, orange, or yellow. These pigments help protect the eyes by neutralizing free radicals and can significantly support eye health. Incorporating these nutrient-rich foods into your diet can be an effective strategy for preventing and managing cataracts. Regular consumption of antioxidant-rich foods and supplements can help maintain the clarity of the lens and overall eye health, reducing the risk and progression of cataracts. Thank you for watching our video. We hope you found the information helpful and informative. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to our channel. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified whenever we upload new videos. If you have any questions or topics you'd like us to cover, feel free to leave a comment below. We love hearing from you. Take care of your eyes and we'll see you in the next video.